Hey what's up guys, I'm at here and today we have the HD9 Pro smartwatch. It is sent by the SS official store on AliExpress. It is also sold as Watch 9 Pro by some stores but its real name is HD9 Pro. A lot of you have been asking about a review on this smartwatch and the iMatch review you have been waiting for is here. And in this video we're gonna be taking a deep look on all of the features of this smartwatch. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. So let's get right into it and first of all let's find out what comes inside the box. So let's unbox it. So first of all we have this box in which we get two straps, one silicone strap and one new braided silicone strap. Then we have another box in which we get the user manual and the wireless charger. And in the end we have the HD9 Pro smartwatch. So let's unwrap it. And here is the first look on the smartwatch. Let's turn it on. In starting we get this hello screen. And here is the first look on the display. So first of all if we talk about the display, some of the stores were advertising it to have AMOLED display. But this smartwatch does not have AMOLED display. It has a simple IPS display. And here is a look at the bezel size it has even bezels and the bezels are very thin then on the right side we have insensible crown key and you won't hear a clicky sound when you scroll it but you will get a taptic feedback you can change watch faces using it or access the menu then we have the side key which can be used to access the app history and i couldn't find any option to customize the function of the side key then we have the speaker and the microphone here it comes with matte frame and has graphite color and on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensors and here we have the strap locks and you can press the button to remove the straps so here is how the black silicone strap and the braided silicone strap look on the wrist which one is your favorite let me know about it in the comment section below now let's check out the watch faces None of the watch faces are themed but they are interactive and you can access the applications shown on them. Then you can press and hold to lock the watch face so even if you use the crown key it won't change the watch face. And you will see a lock icon on the top of the watch face and the watch faces have sweeping seconds hand. Then on the home screen we have the notifications then the quick access menu and quick access applications. And now from bottom to top we have this new control center which looks quite similar to the apple watch os. You can also scroll down and edit the buttons shown here and here is the menu styles and the icons are no similar to watch os on this honeycomb menu style you can scroll down to animate the icons and scroll up to open the application which is in the middle the app opening and closing animations are also not similar to watch os so let me show you all of the menu styles It comes with two screen of tiles, one with a pointer clock and one with a digital clock. It does not have tap to wake feature or the palm gesture. It also does not have the always on display option and the display can stay on for a maximum of 30 seconds only. Maximum brightness level is quite good and the display will be visible in the daylight also. You can also set the vibration intensity on it and the strong level is quite good. Let me show you all of the languages supported by it. These are all of the languages supported by it. You can also add a password to add an extra layer of security. And here is how the passcode screen looks. It uses the FieldCloud Pro application. So first of all, we have wallet here. Then we have business card. Here we have push notifications, which also has the more reminders option, which means it can send you the notifications for almost all of the applications on your smartphone, even if that application isn't listed here. It shows a banner notification when you receive one. You cannot scroll in the notification. And here is how the notification center looks with multiple notifications. It does not have stacked notifications and it also doesn't show much content in a notification and it also does not support emojis it does not show a red dot when you have an unread notification it also does not show the moon icon when you enable do not disturb mode you also can't add alarms directly in the smartwatch you will have to add them from the watch application and once you have added an alarm you can turn it off or on from here but you do not have the option to edit it and here is how it shows the alarm it vibrates as well as rings here we have the close option it does not have the snooze option and the alarm turns off after about 10 to 12 seconds then we have a few reminders then we have the watch face section and all of the watch faces here are available for totally free and you can customize this one with your own picture from the gallery and you do not have the pointer dial option here and the digital dial can be placed on four positions as shown here then if you want an additional sports mode in the smartwatch then you can choose from the sports push tab here and push it to the smartwatch then you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch which shows the weather right now the high and lows of the current day and also weather for the upcoming week then here we have the games and you can also add additional games from the watch application and you can add up to 8 games in the smartwatch. Here we have the find bracelet option using which the smartwatch will start to ring and vibrate and here we have the find phone option. Uh -huh. you find me. 
be here which will play this tune so you can find your smartphone then you can also select the time format from here and as far as i have checked you cannot set the time directly in the smartwatch you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch then you can shake the smartwatch to take pictures directly using it it uses a single bluetooth chip you do not need to connect with a separate bluetooth connection for bluetooth calling to work all you have to do is go to this icon in the control center and you can turn on the call audio and media audio on or off from here so let me turn it on and once connected you can call directly from here and you can also receive calls directly on it and if it does not show the name of the caller then go to bluetooth settings go to the information of the watch and enable the sync contacts option after that it will show the name of the caller and when you accept the call you do not have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone you only have the volume option here and the microphone option then you can also control the media playing on your device using it and you can also access voice assistant using it hey siri how's the weather today thunderstorms are expected today daytime temperatures will hover around 33 degrees the volume level is quite clear but it is not so loud other than that we have the data application here then we have the workout modes and here is how the workout modes ui looks which shows the bpm and calories burned and you can end it from here then we have workout records here we have heart rate sleep tracker blood pressure and blood oxygen level checker and if you use any of the applications on the table it does not measure the data and the sensor stop working when it doesn't detect wrist on the back and shows the error that please wear the watch properly and as soon as you place the smartwatch on your wrist the sensors will start working which means that it has working proximity sensor and wear detection so we have sleep tracker which also keeps the track of the last seven days facebook wechat whatsapp line and twitter shows you the notifications from these applications separately and we have breathe training and we have stopwatch and timer to help you out during your workouts we have the calculator and i really don't like the ui of the calculator here we have the full calendar application and we also get the compass in this smartwatch there are two compass modes inside it and this watch face also supports compass in the end we have the sos option here so you can swipe here to play the siren but i don't really think that anyone even outside my room can hear this sound and here we have the SOS option but I haven't set any contact for it yet. It also has bedside clock mode so whenever you put your smartwatch on the charger it turns on and always on display with clock on it. On some places it is advertised to have 380 mAh of battery inside it while some of the other stores advertise it to have 280 mAh of battery which can give you 5-7 to seven days on normal usage and 30 days on standby. So I charged this smartwatch yesterday to 90% and the battery falls in the intervals of 10% from 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 and so on. And in almost 25 to 30 minutes of recording, the battery has gone down from 90% to 80%. So I'm not really sure about the drain, but I've always heard a good review about the battery of the HD smartwatches. So guys, this is all from today's video. I really like this smartwatch. The display and the bezel size is really good. But if it actually had AMOLED display, like some of those stores advertised, it would have been great. I would still say that the HK9 Pro has the best display and UI, which resembles the most with the Apple Watch OS. Other than that, it is surely a better better smartwatch than the HK9 Pro but some of the negative points about this smartwatch includes the size of the smartwatch it is not in 45 mm size which means that it won't fit the Apple Watch cases as the biggest size Apple Watch series 8 is available is in 45 mm so I hope that they release a new version with AMOLED display and in 45 mm size I think that it will sell better so what is your opinion on this smartwatch and you will also get two straps in the box of this smartwatch so if you would like to purchase it I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch you can also check out my best apple watch series 6 7 8 and ultra replicas playlist i'm gonna be linking it in the description box below and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is imad peace